Hey friends, it's day 159 of Simply Scripture, where we are reading through the Bible in one year. And I'm Pastor Haley. Thanks for joining in today. We are in Psalm chapter 43 through 45. Let's pray. Word of God, speak. Change our hearts. Transform our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 43. Vindicate me, my God, and plead my cause against an unfaithful nation. Rescue me from those who are deceitful and wicked. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 44. We have heard it with our ears, O God. Our ancestors have told us what you did in their days and days long ago. With your hand, you drove out the nations and planted our ancestors. You crushed the peoples and made our ancestors flourish. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their right nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. You are my king and my God, who decrees victories for Jacob. Through you we push back our enemies. Through your name we trample our foes. I put no trust in my bow. My sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. And God, we make our boast all day long, and we will praise your name forever. But now you have rejected and humbled us. You no longer go out with our armies. You made us retreat before the enemy, and our adversaries have plundered us. You gave us up to be devoured like sheep and have scattered us among the nations. You sold your people for a pittance, gaining nothing from their sale. You made us a reproach to our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations. The people shake their heads at us. I live in disgrace all day long, and my face is covered with shame at the taunts of those who reproach and revile me because of the enemy who is bent on revenge. All this came upon us, though we had not forgotten you. We had not been false to your covenant. Our hearts had not turned back. Our feet had not strayed from your path. But you crushed us and made us a haunt for jackals. You covered us over with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, would not God have discovered it since he knows the secrets of the heart? Yet for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered a sheep to be slaughtered. Awake, Lord, why do you sleep? Rouse yourself, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? We are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up and help us. Rescue us because of your unfailing love. Psalm 45. My heart is stirred by a noble theme. As I recite my verses for the king, my tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. You're the most excellent of men and your lips have been anointed with grace since God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your side, you mighty one. Clothe yourself with splendor and majesty. In your majesty, ride forth victoriously in the cause of truth, humility, and justice. Let your right hand achieve awesome deeds. Let your sharp arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. Let the nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes and cassia. From palaces adorned with ivory, the music of the strings makes you glad. Daughters of kings are among your honored women. At your right hand is the royal bride and gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, and pay careful attention. Forget your people and your father's house. Let the king be enthralled by your beauty. Honor him, for he is your Lord. The city of Tyre will come with a gift. People of wealth will seek your favor. 
How glorious is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. An embroidered garment she is led to the king. Her virgin companions follow her, those brought to be with her. Led in with joy and gladness, they enter the palace of the king. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will perpetuate your memory through all generations. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. Thanks for listening. Come back tomorrow for more of the Psalms.